Cardano price prediction July 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be giving you guys an update on Cardano. So, I'll be talking about Charles Hodgkinson's thoughts on Shelly update that's coming up. I'll be looking at some news, and then, guys, at the end of the video, I'll do what I do best. I'll be sharing with you my price prediction and a trade strategy to get into Cardano. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So Cardano, guys, I've not really made one in uh, in a week or so because Cardano's just been going sideways since the pump earlier on. So I highly recommend you watch the previous Cardano videos I made, especially these two. Usually I do them in the group, in the educational group. These two are posted before the breakout and it was a really nice trade. We took most of it off and then it's just been going sideways. So I've not really made a video. Cardano is coming into a very key zone, especially with news coming end of this month. I mean, I'll make a detailed video on my thoughts on, on this 29th of hard fork and, and the staking stake pools that's coming up for Cardano and my thoughts on it, especially after a huge move up that we've seen in Cardano this year. It's one of the biggest moves we've seen. If you can get in a couple of trades like this a year even, we don't get trades like this every year. I won't promise 100% moves. We're in quick and in, in and out quick trades using my trading strategy this was a trade strategy we took a breakdown pull back to four hourly and this was a nice short setup i didn't take it myself but it, it just shows you the the trade strategies that we share and how they work so Cardano has been going sideways and it's not too bearish for me. When things go sideways, Cardano went sideways at the start of June for about uh, almost a month and then it broke out. So this sideways consolidation isn't bearish. I'm just thinking about the news. Um, if you are gone to my head, I do think Cardano will have another breakout, another push up before uh, the breakdown. So that's my thoughts on Cardano and that's the technical analysis I'm looking at. It's moving sideways for now and um, I'll be sharing with you how to get into Cardano near the end of the video. So one thing I do like about Cardano is they, they've been they've had lots of news come out and that's definitely helped the price push up. Uh, Charles Hodgkinson, I know he's a a very interesting figure you know some people like him love or hate relationship with him i do like what he's trying to do the data he brings in and the approach the uh, the research approach he brings to crypto but i don't personally like you know the big mouthing and the marketing that he does and if a pro project is good you should be working more on the project and not so much on you know, i mean marketing is important but i don't want it to be a pump and dump like we've seen with other projects i mean i don't really want to make that video on codano if i see something like that i would let you guys know i'm still in 25 percent with cardano but while things are going sideways there's loads of opportunities for other coins i mean these are some of the coins that we're trading at the moment while cardano is going uh, going sideways and the in youtube i talk about coins that uh you know that i'm looking to buy here i share exactly what levels we're buying what coins we're buying entries and exits and i do i've been doing live stream almost every day but i do a minimum three to four times a week and you get access to the unit section to my course so if the altcoin season continues i highly recommend you get access to this and you learn how to actually make money from it i recommend you watch this video i talk about other coins that i'm looking to buy if you're interested in other coins as well so and if, if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so the idea for Voltaire on the ITN popped up back in February where, uh, where IOHK decided that it should be used as a code base that can grow and evolve so Charles Hodgkinson has sent more update on on Voltaire and uh, which is going to you know the abundance of scientific paperwork the scientific approach like I mentioned I uh, do really like it and uh, the main net launch which is happening I think on the 29th is the hard fork uh, for Cardano you know uh, that's gonna be really important to see what the price does because with all the partnerships that they've done with the companies and what they're trying to do with it, improve the usability and adoption for cardano we need to see the user access and use solving real world use cases so when we talk about protocols that live in the provenance of a decentralized system, suddenly you have this big question mark that exists. Who decides? So the Cardano's approach uh, with Shelley, I, I do like the governance project, governance of Cardano's, uh, the new one, uh, a, a lot. And I do think uh, them solving the governance issue, and I, I probably prefer this to EOS's governance issue. So the key news that people need to be aware of is ERC. 20 converter and cross-chain communication Hodgkins describes that as the current roadmap for the hard fork on 29th of July that can be met and everything is going to plan Cardano will launch an ERC20 converter and migrate from Ethereum network to Cardano and there's going to be interoperability with other blockchains uh, 
something like Ethereum and like Litecoin should be extended so the transactions from Litecoin can also be executed on Cardano. So this is the big news and the DApp programming with the new uh, updates on Shelly, uh, Shelly mainnet would be really interesting to see and there's loads of slogans I've talked about it in previous other other features of of Shelly there's loads of details to it that is really interesting to see and one thing I would like to say is don't think about it just you know next day Cardano is going to go up if you're looking as, as an investment it could take years for it to go up I'm not really personally investing in Cardano I like to get into FOMO get into my trades and take money I mainly hodl BTC and a few other coins that I do like to hold but I, I want to see it continue going up then I'll hold if it breaks down then I won't be one thing that I don't like too much about Cardano is uh, charge hot concern is he's marketing it a lot about this news um, I'd want to see user interaction you, you know user adoption rather than this marketing stuff so that's something that I don't personally like as much but it's not it's just my personal opinion that I've seen in being cryptocurrency for three or four years I've seen it happen a few times so let's talk about Cardano price predictions and now so what will so I'm still in Cardano my stop is below thousand um, as, as long as it gets back above the red zone I'll be I really want Cardano to get break above that red zone and I'll be looking for trades above 1500 if it breaks out with my setup I'll look for it a move up towards the 1900 and 2000 I do think although it's gone up a lot I do think with the news coming out in the 29th and if Bitcoin has a bit of a move up Ethereum's looking okay if we do have the extension of altcoins and I do think we're going to see another breakout in Cardano and that could be the main one then we have a bigger pullback let me look at Cardano USD because I know lots of people look at Cardano USD so where I've been trading Cardano USD I said one of the key key price zones is that 10 cent level and once we broke that we had a huge move up and I just used it as a confluence. We had almost a 50% move up. My target was the 15 to 20 cent zone because that's, you know, there's loads of Fibonacci confluence. There's previous support and resistance. And if you again, gun to my head, I do think we'll be heading towards the 18, 20 cent level. Uh, this resistance there through it to Fibonacci extensions as well. I think that's where we'll get. Will we get to 50 cent? I mean, if it breaks out above this zone, the 20 cent level, the next target would be the 40, 50 cent level. But uh, something really big needs to happen with Cardano I think with news needs to come out or there needs to be it could be a parabolic spike up but uh, constantly going up I think there needs to be a lot of news for it to happen so those are the key price predictions zone I'm looking at so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed it that's my predictions for Cardano I will make a video on uh, about 29th of July my thoughts on it. I've made videos on Zilliqa Theta and other projects when big news happen and matic as well so again i'll make that video stay tuned for that i'll make it maybe later on in the week so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you want to take your train to the next level check us out for less than 30 dollars especially when altcoins are moving up is the best time to learn and there's a massive offer on the yearly as well so check us out if you want to take your train to the next level i do live streams other group contents and there's going to be telegram group in the next month or so and the access to my crypto course if not make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel to end the video my last question to you guys is what is your thoughts on cardano comment below your price prediction for cardano or, or your general thoughts on the shelly update charles hodgkinson and the project in general so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and comment below your thoughts on cardano and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go cardano